After a week-long trip of cycling the Natchez Trace Parkway, we decided to head back home to Chattanooga. Fortunately for us, the town of Laurel, Mississippi was on the route home, so we decided to stop in and see what makes this small town so special for so many reasons than it just being the site of the HGTV show, Hometown. We weren't really sure what to expect, but it turns out Laurel is everything we love about small towns in America, and today we want to show you what that looks like. Get some coffee. Uh, coffee, iced coffee. Since so it's getting cold out here now, I thought it was gonna be warm. It's cold. We are in Laurel, Mississippi, and honestly, I didn't know anything about Laurel until a few years ago when I, one of my friends actually moved here, and she fell in love with this little town. And that was before the HGTV show kicked off. Kramer, <laughs> what is happening, buddy? You can't do that. That's no, you're in public. You can't do that. This, this is so to start our day, we're getting coffee. We're at the Bird Dog Cafe, which is one of the newer places here in Laurel. We're getting our caffeine fix before we go and walk around and explore more of the city. I'm not really sure what to expect, but I'm excited. So we're in Laurel, Mississippi is in the southeast region of Mississippi in case you don't know. Yeah. You may know this town from an HTD <laughs> so You may know this town from an HGTV show called Hometown. Hometown. Or Homegrown. Hometown. Hometown. It's blown up since then. But the people have been investing in this town and trying to revitalize it since before the show. Well, my understanding is that they were already trying to revitalize the town that people were loving on this town that they already loved and had loved for years and years and years. And it shows even though the TV show gave this, this town a little national recognition and extra boost of publicity. You can tell that people here really love it. In fact, we just talked to a local artist and she's born and raised here, been here for years. And she said it was really busy and really booming when she was younger and then it sort of dwindled out and it's booming again. I, I love it, yeah. And it, it used to be really booming. And you know, most like most downtowns, it um, kind of had a little time where it wasn't, and, and now, you know, it's back, it's awesome. Yeah, I, I was featured on um, Hometown in the first season. Oh, really? Yes, and um, it changed, I don't know if you shut them, it changed oh, yeah. my life. No, you're fine. <laughs> it changed my life. Yeah. I'm serious. Like, I, I worked at an art, art museum and taught art education, but um, I've all I do now is paint and sell paintings wow. just from that. Really? I, yeah, I love it. You know, I love teaching. I loved it, but it's wonderful just to do what you want. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Last, it's the Sorry. season one, the last episode, she comes to my studio and picks out a painting. Oh, and, cool. And for, it's just like two minutes long, maybe. Yeah. And that's crazy. Um, what I mean, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it's crazy, but it, it totally changed my life. That's amazing. Wow. Yeah. That's awesome. I love seeing towns come back to life and the people investing in it. So one of our favorite things about small towns in America is this is, it's a really authentic glance of the people of America. You may see big cities like New York and LA and Chicago, and if you're not American, you may think that's what everything's like here, and it's not. And everything you see on the news isn't, isn't necessarily all this happening over here. There's some really great things and some really great people in small towns across the country. So that's sort of the whole point of this little mini series we have of small towns across America. We love visiting them because it's a great way to meet just people we may never have met, people who come from different walks of life than us and just to see and experience their communities and what they love about their hometowns is really special. So this is Laurel. I am full of useless knowledge, and I'm about to share some with you. So some famous people from Laurel include people like Lance Bass, Tom Lester, who's that? I think that's the Green Acres guy. Tom Lester from Green Acres. 
there's a lot of Olympians, a lot of football players, because yes, this is Mississippi, <laughs> and SEC football thing is a real thing here. There is, so tons of football players. There is one opera singer from here. Two, actually, I think. Actually, two. I'll be honest. I, I never know famous people. It's, no, it's nothing against these people. I just don't know who famous people. Truthfully, I didn't even know who Lance Bass was. And that's only because... I was that... homeschooled. Oh my gosh. Fire ants. Bugs. Look at those things. If you've watched any of our other southern videos, you've probably heard me say this before. One of my favorite things about south the landscape are the giant old oak trees some of them here have spanish moss on them some don't but they're just big and the branches just go on forever i don't know how they withstood hurricanes and tornadoes and all this kind of thing but look at this tree look at it draping all the way it's just so cool i love that i don't know how old it is but it's beautiful Sugar. <laughs> so we haven't even eaten lunch yet. So we have breakfast. <laughs> so here's the deal: the people at Sweet Something, they are so nice. I said, "Can I have two chocolate chip cookies?" Because apparently they're the best chocolate chip cookies in town. Are you eating? Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, they said, "Hey, all the cookies are broken, so it's on the house." And they gave us like mm. four or five cookies. I'm so glad they did. Oh man. <laughs> so not to say. Their cakes and their cupcakes look delicious. They did, I saw people walk by. Oh, they look so good. So if you're here, go see them because they're good people here. Mm, and not mean. just because they gave us four or five cookies. Oh my gosh. I mean, These have... cookies are super soft. I think they'd be really good. I mean, they're good plain, Ooh, but I could see them being really good as an ice cream sandwich. Vanilla ice cream. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they're good. Look at this. All right. Chocolate chip cookies. So simple and so hard to eat. Can't go wrong. Mm. All right. So right here in downtown, they have this little section of murals and I think artists called the Outdoor Art Gallery. And so a lot of artists come here and they create all these different murals. And check this out, they have a little Star Wars one. was to go to the butcher shop and get one of their bag lunches they do burgers every day until 3 p.m. and they sold out at 2 15 today so that didn't happen so go, go early if you're coming so hot out here now I feel bad. Okay. Kramer, were you that hot? Kramer saw so all the vendors are leaving from the crawfish boil party festival. Anyway, it's a big thing to do in Mississippi and Louisiana in the spring. So all the vendors are clearing out like the food trucks and that kind of thing. There's a pile of ice sitting on the ground. Kramer just went for it. He just dove right in. <laughs> Whatever. Before this trip, we'd only ever passed through Mississippi going usually east to west, and we pass through in a matter of an hour or two. We never really spent any time here, but we've been in Mississippi for the last probably week or so, 
And honestly, the people here are the nicest people I've ever met. I, and I'm not just saying that, we've been to 49 of the 50 states, we're only missing Hawaii. And there's a few states that always stand out for hospitality. And right now it's Mississippi, Ohio, and Wisconsin in my mind. The nicest people. Would you agree with that? And add Maine on there. Maine, Maine's really hospitable too. I mean, there's other hospitable people all across this country, but Mississippi people will just start having a conversation. Now, if you don't like talking, this is probably not the place for you. But if you like meeting some of the locals and just having a conversation while standing in line or that kind of thing, people are so welcoming and it's such a friendly, friendly state. Like, honestly. I wish we could spend more time here today. This is sort of a pass through on the way home. We're trying to see some of these small towns. Um, we didn't get to have lunch at the place we wanted to have lunch and now it looks like most people are kind of closing up at least until dinner time. So we didn't get that. We did get coffee and we got a chocolate chip cookie. So both of those have been wonderful. So in our book, Laurel has great food. And we heard that um, the Night Butcher is a really good place to get a brown bag lunch and that was the plan. But that just didn't happen because they sold out if that tells you anything about how good it is. So if you want to go to the butcher shop and get a burger, get there early. As we said before, we love visiting small towns. So if you have a favorite small town and a suggestion of what we should see or do in that town, make sure you drop it in the comments below. We want to hear about the places that you love and why they're so special. For more adventures on the road and in our new home, be sure to follow along on Instagram and like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.